Ronald Regan. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's nice being here with you too. Now, ahead of the World Economic Forum on Africa, we know that the World Economic Forum's young global leaders visited your school um, in order to interact with the students. So won't you kick us off, Ronald, by just explaining what happened? Well, you can imagine we've got all these um, very young CEOs of, of major corporates coming to our school. And um, needless to say, we are excited because here we have an opportunity to expose our children to, the, to the, world, the world of work, but not just the world of work. You know, we always talk to them about leadership and how important it is to, um, to live a specific type of life and how to be noted and how to be confident and all those things. And here we have an opportunity to speak to some of those people. We were promised 24 would come, but we were very excited to see 12 of them finally make their way to Crystal House. And I can tell you, Sorry, I can tell you that Crystal House is, we need this level of exposure. Crystal House is a, is a charitable school, and as a charitable school, we obviously, we, we would want to expose our school, um, because the way we run as a school is we need finances, um, and the corporate finances is what we need. We don't, um, we, d we make no two um, bones about it, or no bones about the fact that um, Crystal House cannot survive unless we have people who are interested in sharing um, uh, what we want to do and being interested in what we do. Crystal House is a school where the children come to the school and they don't pay a cent. And yet, when you look at the likes of Regan and you see the level of confidence they display when they speak to you know, those um, the, um, big um, uh, leaders of uh, big corporates, then you, you can only but you know, put, tap yourself on the back and say, we are making a difference and we are um, making it work for them. Regan, I see that you have a very proud principal sitting next yes, to you here. Yes, and you were one of the students who, uh, who got to interact with the World Economic Forum's uh, young global leaders. Yeah. And as I understand it, they, they put certain questions and issues to you and you had to workshop those. Tell us what you had to do. So first of all, we got the question on employability with on the, with the African continent. So we had a discussion on how employers need, what employers want schools and institutions to teach, to, like, to teach children what they would want out from them when they come out of school. So for example, if I come from school, what does an employer want from me as a person? How does he want me to be molded or shaped into the type of employer that he wants to see within his company? So with that, I spoke a little on, because we had a report back session on what we had learned. So coming together, bring all ideas into one thing. I mean, just meeting those people like Vivian Lu and Ian Solomon, as well as Lang Landry Signe. He, or those people actually inspire us just to Take a, sta take a stand back and just look at what they've accomplished because bringing that back to the African continent I mean people always thinking that Africa is this dark continent where people are still roaming around and everything is underdeveloped well if I say look at South Africa now we are basically a developing country and we need young global leaders like those people and us ourselves being inspired by them to become young global leaders I mean that's just something that I would love to become I would love to aspire to be someone who really makes a difference in this country. And we spoke on employability in general with regards to people coming with the normal basic skills like being able to identify skills within a group, having teamwork discussion, having, having teamwork to basically resolve problems much faster and effectively. And by doing that, you are boosting productivity as well as the morale of your team, or of your team members. and. I mean, if you do that, in general, people will start liking you and generally from there you can take it from string to string and become a leader. And becoming a leader isn't generally about, okay, I'm going to do this and don't do that. But also always sometimes taking a stand back and finding out from your team members what the best way forward is. And I mean, if you look at that, this business itself or Media24 cannot run without a team and the communication skills needed for that team is very important and once you're able to communicate you're able to go from strength to strength as I said earlier and you are able to bring across certain messages and points that you feel are valid and will really help you guys. 
Now, Regan, you are a grade 12 pupil at Crystal yes. House, a grade 12 learner, which means that soon you're going to be embarking on the next level in your academic career or your work career. And being in contact with these young global leaders, do you feel that um, in the last six months now, or probably just five months that you yeah. have of your schooling career, you've, you've latched onto something that you can, can take away and use next year? Well, there's a few things, but I've learned, or well, the school has given me the opportunity to grow so much personally, because they have, have you ever heard of a school that actually has life orientation where they teach you character development? No. So that's the type of things that the school actually helps us with, and they bring in people from different corporate environments as well as different careers. So they bring them in and they actually give us talks on what the, what the job entails and from there you yourself build yourself upwards and your character just generates from there because for example you came into the media environment now from there you were basically probably very vibrant on school i like to think so yes very vibrant. <laughs> now there's certain things like that that allows you yourself to grow and once you grow going into that career field whichever path you take you can only take yourself one level at a time and you eventually will reach the top and if you look back at the type of person that you were and that's why i have to thank crystal house south africa for taking me from my community where i was and allowing me to grow personally and it's just a great experience mm.